welcome back to my channel how y'all doing i'm going to be working on my design team project for the line.arrow facebook group in this video i'm going to be mostly working in the center signature the center of the signature here uh, i did decide that i'm just going to on this page put make an envelope and i'm going to glue it down on three sides and leave a tuck spot behind it so that's what's going to happen on this page so I may or may not do that off camera but today I'm going to work on the center and I took a page from the kit which was this page and I cut it up first I folded it because I thought well I want to maybe a pocket here and so I just kind of folded it up and then I turned it over and I went oh that's really pretty so what if I make this a little flip out so I cut the pages for that and I had this left over and I thought well I could either glue this down and have a flip out with a pocket and maybe a pocket here so then what I decided is let's make this a bookmark and it can go in this pocket that this flip is going to make and then I'll put something else here. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put a notebook or a long um, pocket, long triangle shaped pocket here. I may put a notebook in. We'll have to see how this side ends up. So, what I'm going to do is I backed all of this onto book page, and then I backed this piece again with some coffee dyed notebook paper, and I'm going to turn this into a bookmark. And then on this page, I backed it, and I went ahead and creased it really well, and what I'm going to do is... I'm going to cut out a little hole right now while I'm thinking about it. And I want to cut it out on this side. A little thumb, thumb notch. Okay. So I'm going to stitch around this and I'm going to stitch around the bookmark as well. And I think the bookmark, I'm going to go ahead and round. The corners. forgot I also need to shorten it just a little bit because once I close the bottom up it's going to be sticking out a little well, that'll be okay I'll let it stick out for now so anyway I'm going to go and I'm going to stitch all of this stuff and try to decide what I'm going to do here Okay, I just I decided I wanted to do a notebook. So I'm taking some coffee dyed notebook paper and I'm cutting it into three sections. This section will fit into my page if I trim it on this side. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. I've cut three pieces that size. And then I'm saving all these scraps. Okay, I ended up only using two sheets. And um, I got them folded up where they will lay cascading. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
go sew this closed here. Here, I'm gonna glue this edge down. I'm gonna put this notebook in here and then I'm gonna glue this over the top of it. Let's see if I can get my stapler all the way. I cannot. So I'm just gonna staple these together because this little edge is gonna be hidden. go in there and then this will lay closed all right so I'm gonna go and do all that get it all glued together and then I'll be back okay I took this piece and I just stitched on two sides in the bottom to make the pocket for the bookmark that slides out and then I stitched around this bookmark. And when this flips out, this is what the other side of the page looks like. And I'll probably add some lace or something here. And then here is the little notebook Oops. that I added into it. So that's going to be it for this page for right now. I think it's done. Um, I may add some, I may add a, um, since I put that in upside down, I may end up adding an eyelet and a dangle off the side of this or a piece of ribbon or something, maybe. On the next video that I post, I'll be making a belly band for this page. Thanks you guys for watching. Have a good day.